Hi, and welcome back to the e-learning series on BSF BioWaste Processing. This module in the chapter of BSF Product Marketing will demonstrate to you the marketing workflow. We will show you this by using an example product, the pop larvae, and by showing you the market of Surabaya in East Java, Indonesia. After watching this module, you will be able to identify different packaging options. You will recognize important information to display on your product. You'll be able to execute correct packaging and you'll understand how to find new retailers and identify different ways of promoting a BSF product. You'll be able to report marketing activities and monitor retailers. Here you see the marketing workflow, which we will go through together. And it consists of four main activities, product preparation, retailer acquisition, product distribution and selling and retailer monitoring. The first step is product preparation. This includes choosing the right of type of package, designing a sticker and packing of your products. Here you see different options for packaging. A paper plastic pouch, a full plastic pouch or a jar. For each packaging there are advantages and disadvantages. For example, the paper plastic pouch is more difficult to recycle because it consists of mixed materials. Another option is the full plastic pouch. It's cheap, easy to find and disposable. Another option is the plastic jar. It's more expensive, but it's more durable and you can refill it multiple times. For packages designed for the pet food market in East Java, so ornamental birds and fish, we recommend smaller packages, only like 75 to 100 grams per pack. When designing your own sticker, make sure to include the following. Display the name of your brand or company. Add the netto weight. This is the amount of product per pack. Add a description of your product and the composition. In this example, the product description is dried larvae. Because people will not necessarily understand your brand name as for example here, Pro Pop. You can also add a section on general features. For example, high protein content or 100% natural feed, which could help to promote your product. Then add the nutritional content of your product. Protein content, especially also amino acids and the fat content are the most important nutrients to mention. In the chapter on BSFL post-processing, you can learn more about the nutritional composition of different BSF products. Also add usage information. So for example, how to feed the animal with this product. Storage or instructions are helpful for retailers and customers. Then very important, add a field where you can add the production and the expiry date. This will be filled for every production slot separately. This is important for the traceability of your product and to make your sure customers use the products before it expires. Last but not least, make sure people find your company or community and they are able to contact you by displaying your address, website or online shops. A tip for your sticker design, add the target animals so people directly know for what types of animals they can use your product. To pack your product, follow the next steps. Weigh the chosen amount into your package. Then add a prepacked desiccant, for example a silica gel, as this can further prolong the shelf life as it stables humidity inside the package. By keeping away moisture, you also keep away molds and bacteria. Production and expiry date on the sticker based on which production slot you pack. Stick the sticker onto the packaging and then seal the product. This is important to prevent the product from any moisture on animals like ants. But it's also important for the customers, so they can see that the product was never opened before. We come to the next step of the workflow, which is partner scanning and acquisition. This can be done online or offline. Online search is done by looking for pet food retailers through search engines and by directly calling the retailers. The pet food market is rather informal and many retailers are difficult to find online. Therefore, it's also useful to search for partners offline by driving around in several areas and by directly visiting the retailers. Usually you will find markets for a certain type of pet. For example, there are ornamental fish markets or singing bird markets. There you directly find a lot of different retailers selling feed products. An advantage of offline search is also that you can directly present your product to the retailers. Now we come to the main step of this workflow, the product distribution and selling. For that, prepare the products for retailers based on your visiting schedule and pack them onto your motorbike. 
To market PSF products, which are classified as new products, we must first build trust with the partners. To build this trust, it helps to offer a payback system. So first, we just place the product at the retailer and hand out an invoice. The retailer then tries to sell the products. In the next visit, we will follow up the retailer's progress and collect money from products he managed to sell. As some products might expire during the time of selling, or some retailers might also stop the collaboration, we will take back the products that haven't been sold. Frequent visits help to ensure that the retailer always have enough stock of products. To increase retailers' interest and motivation in selling BSF products with providing marketing flyers or a poster to advertise about the product. You can also offer a promotion or a discount for certain sales. We come already to the last step in the workflow, which is reporting and monitoring of retailers. For monitoring the retailers, we created a log sheet. You find the link to download the raw version of this log sheet in the video description. Each line represents one visit at the retailer. So start by reporting the date of the visit and the name and location of the retailer. Then note down how many products were placed newly at the retailer under added stock. The product code is made up from the production date, month and day. This ensures traceability of the product. Then note down how many products were sold since the last visit together with the total amount of money received and the invoice number. Also note down if any product were returned under the section removed stock. Again add the number of packages and the codes of each product. This detailed monitoring helps to keep track of overall sales. So you can quickly calculate how much products were distributed, sold and removed for each month. You can also monitor the retailer's performance. You also get an overview of how much products are still at the retailer's store. This helps for planning your next visits. Finally, the log sheet helps to keep track of your finances and provides an overview of total revenue secured and how much money is still unpaid, meaning how much money you should still get after the retailer sold all of your products. For successful marketing, it is also important to understand your target market. So who is actually buying your product from the retailers? Engaging with customers can happen directly in the market or at events such as singing bird contests or other pet events. Like that, you can get into the right circle of your target market. Testimonies from the community in your target market can boost your selling. I like product because karena product ini cocok buat burung ocehan. Burung menjadi suaranya bagus dan tak gampang stress. These testimonies are important for gaining trust by customers for selling such a new product like BSF Pop Larvae. Now we're almost at the end of this video and we have some questions for you. First, you are creating a sticker for your product. What are three elements which you would add on a sticker of your BSF product? The answer is production date and expiry date. Netto weight, nutritional facts like protein content. Also correct answers are the usage and storage information, your branding or your product description. One more question. You are meeting a new retailer. How can you build trust and motivate the retailer to sell your product? So you can offer a payback system, meaning that it can be paid after the retailer sold your product. You can also hand out flyers or posters to advertise your product. And you can offer a special discount, for example, if the retailer manages to sell five products within one week, there will be a certain discount for the retailer. Now we're already come to the end of this module. We saw that production and expiry date are an important information to include on your product label. Offering a payback system can help gaining the trust of retailers. 
Reporting retailer selling activity is recommended to evaluate their performance. Thank you for watching this module, part of the e-learning video series on BSF BioWaste Processing. More information can be found in the BSF step-by-step -step guide, which you can download through the QR code here. Both of these materials were part of the Forward Project by EWAC, in collaboration with the Ministry of Public Works in Indonesia and funded by SECO, the Swiss State Secretariat for Economic Affairs.